Hey guys, it's Grand Admiral Thrawn, and today I'm coming to you with the review of the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Spoiler warning. This special is amazing, alright? Drax and Mantis going to Earth to kidnap Kevin Bacon. It's hilarious, okay? They have these little side adventures. Just the story is great, okay? This is an, this is the perfect thing to watch it for Marvel around the Christmas times or holiday times, whatever you celebrate. But anyway, it's a perfect holiday special for them. They have these great little side adventures. And I really like how Drax and Mantis are the main characters. Although I do feel like every other character, specifically Rocket is, and Nebula, are just background characters in this and don't actually do anything. But it's okay, because it is a short film. They really can't fit everybody in there. But... With Drax and Mantis, I'm glad, because Mantis has always been just a shadow for the other Guardians. She's never gotten to shine, and in this, as the main character, she does, and it's great to see. She's actually fighting and using her powers in cool ways. And then Drax, he's also kind of faded away since the first Guardians after that. But in this, he's the secondary character, and he's a great comedic relief in this. This is just a great holiday special. It's got amazing humor. It's fun to watch. It's just like the Guardians movies. Now, I do also really like the little animated story. That's the basic, the whole reason why this happens, because they think that Yondu ruined Christmas for Peter, but it, in the end, it turns out he didn't. And I liked the reveal of that's how Peter got his guns. Also, I do like how this shows Peter and Kraglin being friends. Because that's something we never got to see, and I really liked seeing it in this. But, like I was saying earlier, this has amazing humor, and it really shines in the ending, and throughout the whole thing mainly, but in the ending with the gift scene, that's very funny, and it's got great callbacks and references, like with Rocket's gift, that was very great. And then Craglin's gift was just funny, it wasn't a callback or anything, it was just funny gift. This is a great holiday special. I know I'm saying that a lot, but it really was. I was laughing the whole time. There's one little thing, I, and I don't mean to nitpick, but Groot's CGI with his face just looks a little weird to me. That's all. I'm not gonna. I'm not one of those people who's like, oh my god, Phase 4 is the worst CGI ever. Nope, I'm just like, eh, something's a bit off with it. That's all. Uh, with Mantis, I do like her big reveal that we get about how She's Quill's sister. That was a great reveal, and it doesn't feel forced at all. It feels like this is what he had planned since Volume 2 when he first introduced her. But he didn't reveal that in Volume 2 because, well, there's already so much going on in that one. And a sister reveal might have been a bit much. But, now let's get into my overall thoughts. Great movie, very funny. If you watch, if you like watching Christmas movies, watch it. If you like watching funny Marvel stuff, watch it. If you like the Guardians of the Galaxy, watch it. This is a great continuation of their story, and I can't wait for Volume Three. Also, that end credit scene is hilarious. But yeah, this is a great thing. You should really watch it. This is Grand Admiral Thrawn's review of the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special.